Investigators believe that human error may have caused a space plane to break apart in midair. Spaceship Two crashed in California on Friday, killing a crew member. A possible cause is something called feathering. That's when the pilots <coughs> lift and rotate the tail fence to create drag, preparing it for descent. That process may have started too soon, officials believe. John Blackstone is near the crash scene in the Mojave Desert. John, good morning. Good morning. Well, the Mojave Spaceport here is headquarters for the Spaceship Two test flights. And it was high above the desert here that the craft came apart, scattering debris across an area five miles long. Now, the investigation could take up to a year, but a mistake in the cockpit is already emerging as a possible cause. Moments before Spaceship Two disintegrated midair, the NTSB says its so-called feathers were not in the correct position. These are the feathers when they're moved up to the feathered position. It's not only the two tail booms, but it's also a part of the wing uh, that move up into the deploy position. The feathers are only supposed to be upright when the ship is about to descend from orbit, but the co-pilot unlocked them prematurely when the spacecraft was still accelerating. And then the aerodynamic forces moved them into that position. Shortly after that, the, the tapes terminated. These photos taken from the ground Friday show the vehicle detaching from its mothership, firing its engines, and then breaking up moments later. The 39-year-old co-pilot, Michael Aylesbury, was killed. Peter Siebold, the 43-year-old pilot, ejected from the ship. He was injured, but is alert and talking. Spaceship Two was a prototype for Virgin Galactic, Richard Branson's space tourism company. Branson had hoped to start commercial space flights early next year, plans that are now in doubt. This is the biggest test program ever carried out in commercial aviation history, precisely to ensure that this never happens to the public. More than 700 people, including Angelina Jolie and Leonardo DiCaprio, have already paid as much as $250,000 for a seat. So anybody who ever wants a refund would be able to get a refund. So well, we haven't used the money. We never, we, you know, we decided, we've always decided it's best not to use the money. It was more, you know, it just gave us the confidence to do the program, knowing that these people uh, were so committed. Because this was a closely monitored test flight, their uh, investigators have a wealth of data that's not available under a normal uh, plane crash circumstances. There were cameras aboard the space plane itself uh, watching the flight from here on the ground and from chase planes nearby. Gail? John, thank you.